is this deja vu? Where are we it, at again? And what yeah, are we doing? Yeah, you guys probably just saw a video from us a couple weeks ago or mm -hmm. something. One of our more recent videos. We are at the Dolphin Resort. Mm -hmm. Dolphin Swan Dolphin. Dolphin Reserve as well, but that's across the street. Um, but we are here again for Rosa Mexicano. Um, which means the Mexican Rose or the Rose of Mexico. I'm not sure. If you do speak Spanish, please leave a comment and tell us what it actually means. It is the, Mex the Mexican Rose. It is. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but we're back. Uh, last time we were here was our... Okay, really quickly. Last time we were here was our follow-up to a rather disastrous first time we were here. First time we were here wasn't good. No, but we had an awesome experience this last time. Yes. And yes. I also but, had an equally awesome experience at breakfast ahead. with my friend Gina okay. and got gluten-free churro waffles and... I had to come back. Yeah, so I made brand. I was like, please yep. get up for breakfast so, so we can go. <laughs> and, and that's what I was about to say. Sarah beat me to it. Breakfast. You are not clicking on a deja vu video. We're not here for the dinner like we were last yeah. time, which was delicious and amazing. We are here for breakfast. Yeah, Brandon taking one for the team and getting yep. up early so Got we can go early. get breakfast. Absolutely. So Rosa Mexicano at Disney's Dolphin Resort. Dolphin? Yeah. Dolphin. Um, so everyone just calls them the Swan and Dolphin. Just call it the Swan and Dolphin. Yes, it's two resorts, but it's really just one giant resort. There we go. There we go. Will it be as good as last time? Sarah loved it last time. Yeah, content. her and her friend Gina said it, it was, was amazing. Yeah. Minus some fire alarms. Oh yeah, they said we had three, three fire alarms. Three fire alarms. Our they meal. got evacuated. But the food was incredible. So let's go in. Let's get some incredible food. No fire alarms. Um, but does everyone remember fire drills when you were in elementary school? Those were kind of cool. The best ones were when you were on the school bus and you pull up. They wouldn't let you get off. You had to jump out like the back door. Those were fun. Leave a comment if you remember those. Do they Can still do those? Can we go get our churro waffles? Let's go in and get some <laughs> breakfast, everyone. Join us. Actually, a lot's happened. We just sat down. Um, we got a really, really, really good table and seat today. Oh, yeah. Um, See, we got yeah. a pan over here. Pretty. Yeah, really, really good. And uh, pan, over. pan to the my nice left, view. Sarah's right. Um, good view. Good table. Um, anyway, they got us right in. We had no reservations. But, yeah, they um, don't. We could not. We couldn't find it the last time. Yeah. We couldn't find it this time. Reservations for breakfast. Like, yeah. it doesn't show us open on so, open table or at Disney. So, we just come in. Um, mm -hmm. They... Obviously, they had room. Um, very nice. We sat right down within a minute and a half or something like that. Um, our server is Bridget. I think her name is Bridget. If I'm mispronouncing that, I apologize. But I think that was her name. Um, she gave us menus, but Sarah pretty much knew what we wanted. So we talked to her right away, ordered right away. And I got coffee. This is just, I don't know if it's special coffee made here or, again, I've not been here for breakfast. But look at this huge cup. Look at this. Yeah, Brandon's like a sizable coffee portion. Yeah, look at that. And also... We have a pot still here too, so yep, Brandon can refill. Uh, we'll see. Uh, this, I might be a one cup guy today because it's a big, big cup. It's very, very hot. You might be able to see the uh, the, the flames. What was that? Does this, everyone remember the movie Clue? Flame, flames from the side of my head. Um, but uh, the, the the steam. Let's have a little sip. It's very hot, everyone. So it'll just be a little sip. And I just got an iced tea, so no coffee for me. Oh, it's good. It's good. I'm. Uh, I am not a connoisseur of coffee or anything. I do. Sarah knows I like coffee. We have a nice Keurig at home. Um, shout out to my coworker who gave it to us. <laughs> but um, if she happens to watch this, but um, but no, we all like coffee. Um, just not a big coffee connoisseur. I can't describe it that well. I know when I like it. I know when I don't. So this is really good. Really good. Um, I actually, what I like more than the coffee though is the actual uh, cup it's in. That's very cool. So. Anyway, we are here. We have ordered. We'll explain um, what we got when it gets here. Oh, well. yeah. And we didn't talk to a chef. We just ordered directly with yep. our server this time. Yeah. And it looked, and it was very, very easy. So, uh, anyway, uh, next time you see us, should be when the food gets here. So, 
so many decisions were made in this meal. Oh my gosh, so everyone, yeah. So we got the gluten-free Mickey waffles, churro style, as our server was calling them. So they're a house-made allergy-friendly mix that they're making. Um, and then they're, they just topped it afterwards with cinnamon sugar, which is awesome. And then it comes with a strawberry sauce. Oh, Last time that. I got some fresh fruit. Um, the strawberry sauce and the fresh fruit are going to be a good dairy-free and vegan option. And then to make them churro style fully, Let's go over it here, comes yeah. with a Mexican um, like hot chocolate sauce and then some whipped cream. And they also have... The most adorable teeny tiny oh, hold on. little individual maple syrups, which I kind of love. Oh, that is so cool. It's tiny. Yeah. So if you don't like the sauces, that's another option. And it is 100% pure maple syrup. But let's see if these are as good as last time. Also, we got a whole lot of them. Six, correct? Six. So I mean, I'm look at that. do a little bit in the chocolate sauce and the whipped cream. And then I'll do the strawberry sauce. Just as good as last time when you oh and Gina God. were here. Y'all. Y'all. I think these might be the last Mickey waffles on property. Like, okay. they're really fluffy. I love the flavor. So kudos to Rosa Mexicana for making a house made mix of this. Um, okay, so wait, it's a house. It's not like, like they, a default. They made their own blend. Okay. Um, Contemporary was doing that for a while. I don't know if okay. they're still doing it, but they made their own blend. I'm gonna try it with the fruit sauce gotcha. too. So it's very allergy friendly. I love that. It's a dedicated waffle maker. Strawberry sauce is good too. Okay. But if you can have dairy, you're going to want to do that because, oh my gosh. So we're going to eat a lot of these. I can't wait to see what Brandon thinks of them. And then for my entree, I got Huevo Ranch, Huevos Rancheros with scrambled eggs. Um, this is a gluten-free vegetarian dish on the menu. You can also modify this if you're dairy-free, um, so that would be an option. But these look awesome. Mm -hmm. Really good. Mm -hmm. Awesome. They look great. I had great. the chili 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 last time and they were so good. Um, I like this. The salsa on it's really nice and flavorful. The beans are good. I'm gonna try the potatoes because these look awesome. Oh my God, you girl love the potatoes. They look amazing. They're so crispy. Super salty, well seasoned. Oh, Brandon, you're gonna be very excited eating these. Yeah, this is, this might be my new favorite breakfast spot at Disney. That's fair. That's it, it looks work, great. I gotta I, try mine, but. This is the second time in two, two weeks. Two in a row. It's amazing. Yeah. yeah, winners every time. All right, time for me to dig in. All right, so I got the, um, what did I get, Sarah? The they have egg like a class. classic American breakfast. Yeah. You got potatoes, bacon, scrambled yes. eggs. Let's um, you know what? Let's try these churro Mickey waffles. Yeah, first. I need I need your churro waffle review real quick. Cause I think the rest of it'll be. You're gonna love the potatoes. Yeah, I'm holding off on that till the end. So Brandon Everyone did. trying to cut. Brandon did just kind of the pure maple syrup instead of the other stuff. All right, so I'm gonna take a bite, like Sarah said, of the um the churro, churro waffles. waffles, and I did put a little. This I love this little. I know, it's a cute. Over here, um, little can. Teeny tiny can. little jar. Glass jar, can. All right. Okay, now wait a minute. Yeah, I was like, what do you think wait of these compared to the other Mickey waffles that we have had? These might be They're the really best good. Mickey waffles I've had. Hold on. I don't know what makes their, like, how they're blending, like, what flowers wow. they're using, but it's they're really good. I'm not a, Sarah knows, you guys know. Mm. Not the biggest breakfast person. Not the biggest churro person, but these are delicious. I'll eat more. You'll get more in our debrief, of course, but um, delicious. Let's try some eggs. I was going to say, can you try your potatoes? I feel like the potatoes are where it's at. Well, let me try some egg. Look at this. I have one egg fell out on the plate. The eggs are good. Better than, uh, what's that dang place with no flavor? Oh, poor Olivia's. Poor Olivia's, everyone. You don't need to go to Olivia's. You, you do. It's really good, actually, but we love no flavor. love the there, but the food is not our favorite. All right, some bacon. Jump into this bacon. That's a lot of bacon. Mm. Oh, is it good? Really good. Okay. Mm. Really good bacon. Now, Sarah, you said the potatoes, correct? Yeah, potatoes. All right, let's try this, everyone. This is the true test This is the Brandon. true test. Let's see how I eat one of these here. I, I know. There's, this, that's what there it is. So are the waffles. <laughs> Hashtag. Best breakfast potatoes on property. There it is. Um, at this point. 
is this going to be the new best breakfast spot on property? It's, my it's my only high. thing, really quick, is what was that place that I really love their breakfast there? It's on the boardwalk. Oh, Trattoria Al Forno. Trattoria Al Forno. Trattoria Al Forno or something like that. That is a delicious breakfast. But this, this is really good. Let's keep eating. This is really good. Let me try one more bite of a potato. And then Sarah, I'll allow her to cut and uh, we will eat. Potatoes are incredible. Delicious bacon, delicious potatoes, incredible churro waffles, and above average scrambled eggs. This is delicious, so uh, we're gonna eat. You'll see us next at the debrief unless something else comes up. Okay, delicious breakfast done. Oh my gosh. Yes. So, amazing breakfast. Amazing breakfast. Second amazing breakfast here. This is like my new favorite breakfast spot in terms of the food, Agreed. the quality, the gluten-free options, the flavors, yeah. those churro waffles. Yeah, we're gonna talk about that. Everyone listen up. Listen, everybody. Listen, I'm not gonna jump ahead to the ending, but maybe I, I am. I guess you are jumping I'm ahead I'm jumping ahead to the ending. This is a twist M. Night Shyamalan ending because I'm going <laughs> to talk about PSA. what I love. Yeah. I'm not going to recommend this for breakfast. Simple if, okay. No, I would say I would not recommend well, it for breakfast in. if Go. you are driving here yeah. and you are parking here at the Swan and Dolphin. But we'll get to that. Stay tuned for our M. Night Shyamalan twist, unbreakable, six cents, the village ending. However, the breakfast was amazing. Uh, amazing. Incredible. Service, Even ama you said... Yeah. The food was insane. You were like, yep. this is like a new favorite breakfast yes. spot. Service, the last several times has been amazing. Amazing. The server um, that Gina and I had last time when we were here for breakfast was here. She saw me, she was chatting with me. She's like, hey, oh, you're back. Oh, is that who that was? Yeah, okay. she was like, you're back, good to see awesome. you. So um, yeah, everyone here has been super lovely in terms of yeah. the service, the chefs, the accommodations. Mm -hmm. um, and the food is awesome. Yeah, except uh, watch our first video. Sarah will link it somewhere. Okay, well, we had one. Our very Booger first time. experience. But no, it's been amazing. This breakfast was incredible. Again, Bridget was her name, I think. Great server. Yeah. Great food. Yeah, and that's everything. why you should always give a place another try. We have yeah. now come back here several times. We have really enjoyed the food. Yeah. I think if you are looking for something a little bit different for breakfast, yeah. I love kind of the Mexican vibe. The flavors yeah. are great. And of course, truly the best Mickey waffles on property. 100% right best Mickey waffles on property. Um, not that there's not other delicious Mickey waffles. Oh, on there's property. tons of them. There's tons. This is the best. You are, if anyone knows a better Mickey waffle than here at Rosa Mexicano, leave a comment. We'll go try it. Yeah. But um, I, I don't. It's gonna be hard pressed to find. I want to know what mix the chefs are doing, mm -hmm. like what blends of gluten-free flours, because it is phenomenal. The texture's yep. great. The taste is great. I love that they're very allergy-friendly. They're gluten-free. Yep. And then doing that little hack. It's not on the menu. So if you go here and you look at the menu, the churro waffles are not listed gluten-free, but you ask your server. And they are. Or, or a chef yep. and they can do it. They can't do the cinnamon sugar in the waffle maker, but they will add it on top afterwards. And it's still chef's kiss. Yeah, so absolutely good. Absolutely amazing. And the sauces. Yeah. Yeah. Delicious breakfast, delicious Mickey waffles. Uh, some of the best potatoes on property. Oh, Absolutely. Hashtag, those there potatoes. it is. Potatoes were amazing. Bacon got better and better as I ate it. Um, and my scrambled eggs were well above average. Yeah, and really good eggs. I was going to mm -hmm. say mine were great. The uh, huevos rancheros were super good. I had the chilaquiles last time, and those were excellent yep. too. So, yeah, lots of good flavors, textures. Everything is very fresh. Yep. Food came out fairly quickly. Yep. Uh, yeah, I would. Awesome. So I want to come back already. Highest of recommends for the food, for the service, for the theming, for everything. However, in saying that, and we, before I go into this, yes, it is partially our fault. We don't ever park somewhere and, you know, get your ticket and say, so, oh, we have to pay for parking. Do your own research. It's on you when that happens. So it is kind of on us. However, last time Sarah was here with Gina, right, for oh, breakfast. Oh, yeah, we, we did get parking validated got, last time. Yeah, so, so they were parking just validated. Just something to know when you come here. They do validate, if you are parking in the parking lot, they do validate for parking for dinner. They do not for breakfast. Um, we were able to get a pass today. 
thanks to the manager. Manager was, was awesome. Very kind yeah, no, of them. No, yeah, very kind. We would have if if they said no, we would have paid the thirty four dollars to park yeah, here. As of this filming, thirty four dollars. So and so why I can't recommend this for breakfast now. It's just because it's expensive here. if you're not getting parking validated. Yeah, the food was extremely affordable with our AAA discount. They don't do Oh it. yeah, that's no, another pro tip. No annual pass discounts, no uh, vacation club discounts, right. but they do do AAA, AAA discounts And it was here. 20%. 20% off, so great cost, great food. Um, the only issue is then it would have been $34 for parking on top of that, and right. that's not worth it at that point. Right, so, so that's something to know. Yep, so yeah, it's just something to know about, to be aware of. Um, so yeah, delicious. If you're staying here, you need to go for breakfast. Yeah, here. and I would say if you are staying at any of like maybe Yacht and Beach Club or Boardwalk, or oh, maybe you you're coming over, yeah. to Epcot or Hollywood Studios for the day, this yeah. could be a great park there. Come on over, yeah. easy, accessible. I would say it's a bummer for us as locals because we would come here a ton, a ton. and eat here on the regular for breakfast, yeah. but the parking is a consideration for us. Um, and I don't think yeah. that we would want to pay the $34. Yeah, no. I get, they don't want people to abuse the system. So totally yeah. get that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but it is a bummer because it's yeah. a place that we would actually really love to come to yeah. on the regular. So just something to know about. Yeah, something to know. So awesome food, awesome environment, awesome service. Yeah, Rosa everything Mexicano. was fantastic. Fantastic. I come back again. Highly recommend for dinner. Um, I cannot recommend it for breakfast though. So Rosa Mexicano for breakfast as a local. Just because of the parking. Yeah, as just because the parking does not get a recommend just because that would have added a lot of money. Yeah, but if you're okay with yep. it, I say go for it. Go for or it. if you're staying someplace nearby, yep. or if you're on Disney property, you can easily get here. Um, yeah, I would come yep. here for breakfast Ab because the churro waffles and are everything are amazing. amazing. So we've, I think we've said what we can said. We're going to get on out of here. Sarah, any last minute stuff? No, I'm so full. Yeah, I am full. It was so good. It's so good. So Rosa Mexicano uh, management here. If you ever want to get rid of the parking uh, or validate, by all means, do it. Um, if not, though, if you like Sarah said, if you're staying here, if you can get here, yeah, 100% recommend. Awesome food, awesome everything. But with that, thank you to our patrons on Patreon. Thank you, thank you, um, thank you to everyone who does a potato for us. Sarah will comment. Or <laughs> we had those potatoes today. We got those potatoes <laughs> today. So, uh, but if you want to buy us a potato, there will be a link down there. Our subscribers are amazing. Uh, just leave a comment. Have, have you been here for breakfast, dinner, lunch? Doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, do you want to come? Did did, uh, did our food look amazing? Did did you disagree with us? Maybe. Maybe you disagreed with us. Uh, and but what's no. your favorite breakfast place at Disney? Yeah. What's your favorite? So with that, is that about it? That's it. That's it. Okay. Oh. We'll see you soon. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> Bye. Bye.